Hello everyone, this is just a quick video demonstrating the custom minigames value filtration system. So custom minigames has a new value list which you can use for trading. Um, when you enter the sheet, there's a bunch of values, a bunch of text, it's all over the place, it's messy. It can be, you know, it can just be a hard time to just sort out. However, there is a solution to this. What you want to do is you want to go to the columns where it says A, B, C, D, and E. Press on any column, I'll press on B. There should be a little drop down arrow over here. What you want to do is you want to press it and press short C, uh, short, sort the sheet by A, A to Z. Press on that and you'll be placed in filtration view. With these cool filters, you can essentially sort out values and text. So also I want to sort out rarities by Z to A, so I can press that. And I'll see all, you know, the all the rarities sorted out. Essentially, we can also take out rarities by uh, going down here. If I only want to see unobtainable and special items, I'll uncheck everything except special and un unobtainable. And I'll press yes. Essentially, something else to note is if an item is non-tradable, it is automatically assigned a value of zero since it can't be traded, hence it has no value. So I'll go ahead and I'll filter it out as well by unchecking no. So I can only see tradable items now. Essentially, we can also sort out the values. So I want to value, I want to see my values from highest to lowest. So I'll go here and I'll press sort Z to A, which will essentially sort values from five to one. And now our sheet is, uh, it looks a lot more cleaner. So yeah, that's essentially the filtration system for the custom minigames, uh, custom minigames value list. Additionally, we can also use the search function by pressing Control F if you're on a Windows PC or Command F if you're on a Mac. I'm on a Mac, so I'll press Command F. And if I want to search for an item, because you know there's a lot of values, let's say I want to trade, let's say I want to trade my robot pet. I'll type in robot, enter, and robot will be shown or highlighted in the appropriate cell. So that's another useful feature that you can use if you're trying to search up or look up an item.